Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Wildermyth, uh, The Enduring War. We are um, in Chapter 3, I want to say. 3, 3, Chapter 3. Chapter 4. We're in Chapter 4. <laughs> uh, we're looking for Sita Post, apparently. And we're trying to destroy Marthagi bases as we go. And last time we were building a bridge here to get to here, which is um, apparently our final location. And then uh, and these people are going to scout over here, and we're just going to kind of do these, and then we'll go there, obviously, last. So here we go. Your timber. Strength 7. I've got four people here should be able to handle that. No patrols. Let's do it. Yeah, should be alright. The Maker. Hmm. This looks like a good place to camp for the night. Are you okay, Maya? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was lost in thought. Looked like some dark ones. Well... I guess I just never expected that this would be my life. Did I ever tell you that I used to work as a carpenter? You'd be amazed at the shapes you can convince wood to hold if you know where to support it. Felt good, crafting things. And now I use these hands to destroy. I didn't think this is where I'd end up either, or actually have an idea for those skills. This is not one I'm familiar with, so let's try that one. What's, where I, what's your idea, Pegret? You two are still awake? Oh, well. But, behold! Is that a diorama of the attack site? Sure is. What the... Is this the scale? Should be. Now see, the layout here it lends itself perfectly to this sort of trap design. You're not wrong. It's pretty clever. Too bad we don't have time to rig it up. Later still. Much later. Are you serious? Let's just hope it was worth the sleep deprivation. <laughs> Temporary defense penalty. But Maya gains rampaging boulders. Interesting. Oh, hello, a fire sprite. Okay, a butler, a weldling, and a wardrobe. And a couple, of, a bunch of others that I don't, that aren't as threatening to me. The butler's right there, the weldling's right there. Weldling, don't go! Do I need anything from the, from the fire weld uh, sprites? I said, no, I've got all the fire stuff. Okay, so if I happen to get it, uh, all the better. Rampaging boulders. Trigger your prepared trap, sending boulders rampaging across the battlefield. Oh my. Oh my. How does... How... Huh. Just all of it? The whole battlefield? Like, including my own people? Ah, it does have a range. Sure, let's see what it looks like. Oh, no! Oh, I see. Oh, good. Uh, sure. Um, starting from there. Nope, not from there. Starting from here? No. Starting from here? Yeah, there we go. Go for it. I just pulled this rope and... Ha 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 ho! All right, it was worth the sleep deprivation. Sure. 
Sure. Now you're poisoned. Now you can't. You're gonna die before you do anything to me. <laughs> Maya's just gonna kill everything right here and now. All right. Other people do things, maybe. And the butler's down. There we go. All right. Yeah, definitely. This is um, working quite well. Okay, fire spirit's way back there. Can I reach it? It's back. Maybe. I'll send Quidney up that way. You know, Quidney's just got a shovel. Maybe I can make it a fire shovel. Okay, and poison, lots of poison on you. And we'll have Pegret and Jimbo come up and support each other a bit. Nice, nice. Everybody's blocking everything. Yeah, don't don't go too far. Goodness, they boxed. Quidney's been boxed in. Can you reach it? You can reach it. Okay. Just just ignore the en the enemies there. Yeah, take a fire spear. That sounds great. It becomes tier one instead of tier zero. Yeah, take that. All right. Um, let's do heroism so that I can do another quelling moss. Like so. The wardrobe's going to die. And that's dead. Good, 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 good. And Jimbo can do massive damage that way. And Pegret can interfuse with... Let's do... The workbench. Let's also do... This regular bench. Right, with this splinter blast I can get both of these things. So let's do that. <clears throat> Ow. Quidney, you haven't actually gotten a chance to do anything yet this fight, except run around invisibly. So, why don't you try to attack this thing? Perfect. Well done. And because this seems feels like Maya's fight... There we go. <laughs> that was... That boulder thing at the beginning, I might have had some trouble with the, the welding and the butler if I couldn't take them both out, and... Man, that boulder thing was really good. Um, we'll upgrade heroism for Maya. Ooh, an artifact crossbow. Moth bite. It's... Plus two silk step range. Every time an individual kills an enemy with this weapon, they enter the gray plane. And it's got pierce armor. Oh my goodness. Okay, um. Mmm. 
Maya, you, you get this. Maybe I should have given it to Quidney, but... Quidney's probably not coming to the final fight. I can only bring five. Okay, bridge is built. And let's have this group go scout this area. Site completed. Some more hides. And a Stormflint Scarf with more potency. It is still the only one retiring at the end of the chapter. Ramdra doesn't have a scarf. Ramdra, you get a scarf. The Witch Stone. One faithful, fateful night. Something about that rock makes me shiver. A tall black finger of stone angles out of the earth, points to a pale bloated moon. Its surface is, should shine, but the stone seems to eat all light. It looms dull and terrible. Witch stone, sorry, Ramdra's voice. Witch stone, they call it, flinty and jealous and ever hungry. You'll find them sometimes in worried places. It's said if you don't offer it a joyous memory, it will lay a curse on your back. And if we don't keep going, it'll be Alm's curse instead. We could sacrifice a familiar memory, or sacrifice a memory of self-worth. I am curious. Uh, this is a new one, too. I... Hmm. Let's do the self-worth memory. Ramdra's recounting is not long, her recollection perfect, of the time she cared for a sick old man until the man passed on. And the truth of it floored me, at first. A hammer blow to the heart. I would have, would have to feed him, bathe him, watch him die. I suppose I understood Slim better than the other people. That was his name. Slim. I stayed to the end. He smiled at me before he passed. Didn't need to say anything because I already knew. Wait, what? What did I already know? The stone is black as a whole in existence. Sated. Legacy points. Huh. Uh, I'm going to have to look that one up. I really want to know what, what the other options are for that one. Okay, what do we need? We are getting... We are not... We are getting hardly any spell threads. Only plus nine. We're also missing heartwoods. Mm, we'll go with... Let's go with the hides and spell threads. We just got two legacy points from the event, so... Yay! Okay. Um, build a bridge, you guys. I don't know. Just feels like more bridges is better. And then this one. They took on Strength 7 easily last time, so let's try it again. Frozen in Time. This is a mod event. We're here. So we are. The Raven's Assembly had been tasked to find the Tower of Agarloth's Wet. They are here to exterminate the Morthagi that reside there. The group are slowly going through the levels, no sight of the Morthagi. They hide their faces like the scum they are. I'm sure there is something to kill in this tower. When suddenly... What's that? Do I know him? He is not moving. What do you think? What does this mean? Hmm, seems to me that this person has become trapped in this tower. If I'm not mistaken, he has been cursed and frozen in time. A grim fate, to be sure. Can we do anything to help him? Maybe. Why are you all staring at me? Well, you're usually pretty good at this boring curse stuff. Thanks. 
Remember where, where we are, guys. We could be jumped at any moment. Pegret, just say some ancient words and free them or whatever. It's not so easy. I can't just say some ancient words and whoop de doo it's all good. If we really want to uncurse this whoever, we need to know who or what cursed them in the first place. I mean, seriously? To say that all I need to do are some ancient words is incredibly dumbed down. I don't roll like that at all. Seriously, it just doesn't work like that. That is actually extremely offensive to my class. Mystics get treated like this every day by people like you. Hurdy dur, I'm a worry and I can smash and bonk and donk. I'm so sorry, dear. Don't call me dear right now. Unbelievable. Maya pulls a lever. Whoa. Oh, wow. Hey, who are you? We are the Raven's Assembly. We found you trapped inside here. Weird name, but I can roll with it. My name is Tolma Blustergown. How long have you been stuck in here? Hard to say. Decades, for sure. I don't remember much. It's been so long. But I know how to fight. I'd be glad to join you. You seem like good people, if you'll have me. I might be a little old, but I make up for it in experience. Sure, we could always use another war- we are actually short on warriors. Alright, you should prepare yourselves though, there are more Thoggy all around us. Ah, I missed this. Ha! Huh. Well, um, I like all of these options, let's go with Paladin. Um, I'm less keen on all of these options. Every end of turn. Let's do Wolf Call. I don't have a lot of Wolf Call happening. Ooh, and Sell Asleep. This guy's going to be mobile. We'll go with that. All right. Same as last time. Same same cards. Faux cards. No Fire Sprite, though, sadly. Alright, Maya, let's move you up. And open the door. And poison them. Yay. Yay, poison. You can always tell the the events that are written by somebody that made the mod the a mod for the game. Um, the tone is always a little bit different than the uh, stuff from the original. Sometimes it's more no noticeable than other times, but. Um, It's alright. Oh, that guy's pinned so he couldn't move, so we attacked the door. Well, my friend. We'll see how Tolma can do. Wolf called. Yeah, alright. That gives you our my people a lot more movement speed. Oh, a butler. Out of range. In that case, let's actually get out of the way. Oh, there's the weldling. Let's move up here and try to attack the butler when it goes. thing and we will hit the you with the shackle and finish you off. Good. 
No fire coming from you. I don't like it when you breathe fire on me. Perfect. <laughs> oh, butler. Um, and let's see. There's no door up here, so this is the way through. That's going to be... We're going to have to go that way. Oh. Right. The cat. <laughs> That's... That'll work. Alright. You. Open door. There's everything else. Just guardian there. They have to come to you. Let's see if I can get that'll help. Let's see, I could do oh, you know, let's do the lamp flare. Yeah. Yeah, blinds them. That'll that'll also help. My cat is pawing at the cat flap in the door. Oh, you know what? I thought I heard the attic. Let me finish this fight, and then I'll just see if my cat my cat might be stuck in here. He wants to get out. Poor cane. Neat. Not as neat. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's do the splinter blast from this chair. Or stepladder, rather. And then let's uh, go catch up. Ow. Ow. Be a real uh, shame if you joined us just to die. So let's try to avoid that, bud. Nice. Nope. Nice. Fantastic. All right, Kane, hang on. Let me come open the door for you. Yeah, I'm coming, bud. Yeah, I see. My uh, brother-in-law is doing some work in the attic, which the hatch for the attic is directly outside our door here. And the ladder blocks the cat flap, so the cat was stuck in here. He was just over there. You probably couldn't hear it. I don't think the mic would have picked it up, but the uh, eye was hearing him persistently pawing, just pawing at the door, so. Oh, crippling strikes. Oh, killing an enemy will refund an action point. That's interesting. Let's do crippling strikes to have some variety in what she get to, gets to do. But then I'm definitely upgrading that. Yeah. Pallet. Upgrade to Paladin is always really good. Tier 2 Longbow. Quidney, you need a better bow. Here you go. 
Nothing moving in here. Why are we dawdling? Let's go. The attic is all that's left. Won't cost us more than a few minutes. Above the ground floor is a weather-burnt room. Roof's seen better days. Okay, Roofmaster. Hey, come look at this. Human remains. How old, I wonder. There's bones, sure, but look. The shield. Ever heard of the Knights of Starlock? Five dauntless adventurers who defended these lands in the old days. A century gone, I suppose they'd be. Renroth Allison was a clever one, devised strategies to outwit the shrewdest foes. Carried a shield in the shape of a dragon's paw. That was his sigil. This must be his, then. Guess it didn't do him too much good in the end, huh? But we got a shield. And Quidney, I'm trying to make you a melee, and you've got a one-handed spear, so guess what? You get the shield. Oh, no. Three septics with every card. All right. Let's, let's find an item. What just popped? What happened? Nothing? 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 Okay. Finish it up. Come on, guys. Maybe I accidentally took, hit the hit a button. Plus 0 0.7 health. 0 0.4... 12, 10, 7, 8, 9. Let's give it to Grayley. She's new. Alright, bridge built. Let's go scout. Probably won't need it, but let's prepare some defenses. Why not? Strength seven. Hmm. All right, uh, let's just do this. Let's see. I'm going to leave Ada out. I know she's one of the starting characters, but, um, well... Like, the experience she gets here isn't going to help me in the, the next chapter, because she's retiring. But on the other hand, it is like the story chapter, so let's actually go ahead and leave her in. And then we'll bring Jimbo and Pegret. Yeah, I don't know, it just feels right story-wise to have it go this way. Uh, let's not add the coachman to the mix right before the final fight. Good. Just in time. If you knew what you were looking for, the split boulder north of Seda Post wasn't difficult to find. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. The sunlight. Hmm? If this is my last glimpse of it, I want it to be a good one. Psst. Stop. Put your weapons down. It's me. Grim? What have they done to you? This will take longer to explain than we can afford. Would you like the short version or the extremely short version? Short's probably... Extremely short, please. Well, turns out that you can put a human soul into a specialized Morthagi body. The combination of mechanism and magic is novel in that. Extremely short. Tyrolf here, they've kept an enclave of these folks ticking for a long time, but due to a, uh... Disagreement... At the beginning of their endeavor, 
The Marthagi you are familiar with have been created in this, with the singular mission of destroying them. Us, now, I suppose. They've been relentless in hunting us down, denying us resources. To the point of destroying entire towns? But if we can take back our stronghold here, we can deal them a great blow. Oh, sorry. But if we can take back our stronghold here, we can deal them a great blow. Let us lead you to the heart room. I'll explain further. We are not beings of war ourselves, but if you can cut down Morthagi along the way... I can lock the doors once we get there to buy us some time. I don't remember what voice I was giving Tyrolf. We won't be able to clear all of them out at what first. Focus on moving forward. Bellhop. Steam hissing from its torso, it has a surprisingly strong grip for its diminu diminutive form. Okay, so... Escort Tyrolf to the central room. Tyrolf must survive, so I have to get here. Enemies will spawn there and back here, and they will just keep coming until I get there. That said, um, oof. Ramdra, let's move you up first. Oh, yes, okay, that's good. Pegret, you can move up as well. And that gets my inspiring presences showing. Let's see. Have Pegret grab a discus. Discus the bellhop. And wardrobe. And then Ramdra. You're going to interfuse with another Brock for another discus. Ooh, another bellhop. And then let's hit the wardrobe with this. Fantastic. All right, Grim. Ooh, you have Guardian. It's Guardian this way, and then nobody's in range for you. Bell helps way out of range. So let's actually Silk Step, Ada, and then press forward with my warriors, Jimbo and Alm. Alm. Tyrolf and Grim don't get to wall with anything, so just kind of keep 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 Tyrolf especially in the middle. Well, it does have Guardian at least. All right, Spectix, the other two Bellhops, the Weldling, the Sommelier. Oh boy, it's a lot of enemies. A new bellhop and a butler. I don't know who's where. Alright, let's see. Let's see, make Jimbo come back this way, and then I can hit this one. Perfect. Not the Weldling, but it'll do. Alright, Ramja, move forward, please. And... Discus... The Sommelier? Ah, missed the Ricochet, but that's alright. Come forward and kill the bellhop. I'm a little bit concerned. Ugh, a little bit concerned about all of this. Let's see. Pagret can come forward and interfuse with the bones. And then you can bone lance the wealth. Please hit. Thank you. Okay. I am slightly less concerned. Tyrolf, stay there. Grim, bring up the 
rear. And Edda hasn't had a chance to go yet. Alright, stay in the inspiration field. Actually, let us ambush the first thing that moves into range. I haven't used ambush much. Perfect. Oh, there's the butler. Ah, <laughs> uh, the cat is amazing. I love that cat. Okay, so let's see. Have Jimbo come this way. Oh, and kill the Spectic. And then you're guarding against the butler. And I'm going to have everybody else kind of go south. All them lead the way. Sentinel. Try soul shot. Nope. Dodge. Darn. Spectic in, in my back lines. They're not super threatening, but yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Here we'll go up here. We'll give uh, Jimbo the inspiration and some walling from Pegret. In that, there's a bellhop behind us. There's a batch bee. Good. Not so good. That's fine. Good? Yeah. Three more Spectics and a Bell. Another Bell Hop. Alright. You can fast slam the Bell Hop. Perfect. And then shoot the Butler. Good. I think it's now time to get Tyrolf running. And Grim try to keep up. Alright, finish that thing off. rock and actually this goes off this thing into the bellhop behind us that should work Alm. block its path all right no coming up from behind Thank you. Yeah. Nice dodge. Thanks, all. Okay. Open the door. Get inside. There are more than I thought there would be. Leave the Morthagi! Just get inside! Click. I'll be hearing that screeching metal in my dreams. It's still intact. I can't believe it. That looks important. The heart was made to give spirit to our own soldiers. Sounds useful. Is there a 
button somewhere, or... Ah, uh, well, to work, it needs a willing person to fuse their soul to it. Without that, the Morthagi have been able to use our own constructs against us for centuries. But if you had a willing soul... The constructs would become agents of the heart. Sounds like that would make this fight considerably easier. With the base under our control, we could be much more helpful in the fight against the Morthagi as well. But that's not... It's not like inner fusion, right? The fusion is permanent. Ugh. The upside, however, is something akin to immortality. Wait, what? So, I can even say it's not worth it. I could have Jimbo do it. I could have Pegret do it. Neither of those are happening. Or I could have Ada do it. Ada is an option here, and she's retiring anyway. And... She's going to do it. Wait, you're volunteering? Are you certain? You've still got people out here that need you. We're all meant for something. If we're lucky, we're beaten over the head with a feeling, then that thing shows up. I had a similar feeling when I became part of the Raven's Assembly, but this is... Crunch. Whomp. Also, the drill that's coming from over my head. Thump. They're coming. If we're going to do this, we'll need to do it quickly. Yes. Ramdra didn't watch. She heard noises she couldn't quite place, but there were no sounds of pain or fear. Thunk, thump, oomph. Open the door. They will aid you. Alright, let's see what we're up against. Yay! We got some batch beats, some bellhops rather, to help out. Batch beats. Alright, so now everybody got teleported in here magically. Perfect. Um, by magic of cutscene. So I think what I need to do is go over here, because that's where this leads. Can you open the door for me? You can. I apologize for the saw noises. It's going to be one of those episodes, I guess. Pretty sure. Pretty sure this is where I'm going. Oh, goodness. All right, bellhops, come join. All right, they get the bone link because they're Morthagi, basically. Morthagi get bone link instead of uh, walling when they're next to each other. All right, Alm. The Grand Matron. Suffocating heat pours off its rusted body. The noise of its is soft, like an old woman's breathing. Also, three spectics, a watchman, and a batch bee. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be such a... such an episode. With all the noise that I'm hearing. I hope it's not coming through too badly through my uh, headset, but I am hearing it quite loudly. Um, goodness, that's some pretty bad chance to hit. Hey, right, do that. No, they all dodged. No. It's worth a shot. It's 
Some of the bell hops up so they can be useful next turn. I don't like to send Tyrolf and Grimm into their deaths here. Uh, not that they're guaranteed to die or anything, but um, I tend to leave them be. Kind of leave them out of this bit. Stunning Barrage. Oh, that's a lot better. That's so much better. Spectic down, Spectic down, Watchman down, Spectic down. Just the Batch being the Grand Matron now. All right, bellhops, get to work. You're not doing the most amazing work I've ever seen. But you know what? Jimbo doesn't care. He can stab his spear through, through, uh, between you guys, so... Good, 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 good. Um, let's see. Let's have Ramdra go next. Let's see what you can manage. Is there range for your shackles here? Yes, just barely. All right. Well, it's pinned. Now I hear my cat shouting out in the hallway. I'm. I don't... <laughs> this is definitely the last recording I'm doing for a while, it sounds like. Nice. Nice hit. Oh, yeah. It's got, like, an aura. Well, guess what? Alm's already there. And we win! Sorry, Ada. Sort of. Not really. Little bit. More potency. Grayly, you really need some more potency. You get a cloak. Ooh, and more potency knee guards. Uh, edition. Um, 1.2. Alm, Alm needs that the most, I think. Here you go, Alm. Bronze Horn Warrior. Hmm. We'll go with Tinker. Why not? That's different. You aided us in a time of need. You gave blood and soul. We won't forget that. And we hope to aid you as well when the time comes. The Raven's Assembly said tired goodbyes to Tyrolf, the other enduring, and Ada. Or whatever it was that Ada had become. Eleven years of peace follow. You can do it without sacrificing a character. Obviously, that was an option. Um, you don't get the three bellhops to help you at the end. I'm not sure. I think it has an effect on the next chapter as well, whether you sacrifice somebody or not. Yes, I hear you, Kane. You poor boy. I know. I'm recording a video. During the Years of Peace Ramdra took up with a soft-hearted man who lived at the edge of Northdale. One would patch the roof, one would weed the garden, and Ramdra marveled at how fulfilled she felt by his side. Someone stopped you on the road. These are all from Ahmad, I think. Ramdra enjoyed spending time with the researchers in Mornland Arcanery. There was a certain lofty reverence in their mission to explore the Yandering Land's most mysterious workings. With strong leather, leather coming out of Renwing Tannery again, life became much more pleasant for everyone. You don't realize how many things require leather until you can't get it. Hey, Ritika Vane's up and running again. Where I grew up, you could see the mill sails from anywhere in the valley. It was kind a kind of home star. 
Alm went back to the place he grew up and was tempted by old acquaintances to remain there. But in the end, the path pr past proved an unwise place to linger. Boy, I know that. Tulma watched Spring's pass one after the other. He had an inkling of some deeper cycle beneath them, but suspected he may not live long enough to grasp it. Jimbo carried one large bedroll upon his back, Pegret a jug of wine on hers, and they snuck off to the hills for some time to enjoy the views in each other's company. Oh, is it because you locked yourself in here again, Kane? Is that why you're shouting? Oh my goodness. Hang on a second. I have to let the cat out again. It's a two-way flap, and it's not blocked this side. So he came in here, probably to get me. He probably wants me to follow him. But he can't get the flap open to go back out. Oh, silly cat. All right, so with transformations, um, you have the option at the end of each chapter to progress it. So we could have Ramdra gain a, a sylvan arm. Twice per combat, Ramdra touches an adjacent target to grant five temporary health. That's actually interesting. That makes her kind of like a healer. But I don't like that it looks like it's doing something with her wand here. It's not this. This is one-handed, right? Yeah, the other thing she's got is a war flail. And she's got the mirror shield, which... is pretty good. Yeah, I can get another mirror shield. I've never seen the Sylvan transformation. Sure. Okay, let's see. Gear upgrades. Alm's got level 2 armor. Level 2 axe. Which we need leaf. So hopefully you can find leaf. Tier 2 great axe. Uh... Let's see, is there anything... Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's go through armor first. Grayly could get the better gown. More armor on that one. Less warding and spell damage. Eh, which, which failing? Greatly is reduced to less than half her health. She becomes hidden. That's interesting. Armor, stunt chance, and spell damage up. Not as much spell damage. Feral memory. When Greatly is below half health, she begins plus one potency. Or just straight up armor. Um, I'm going to go with this. I'm boring. I guess. Wait, hang on, hang on. That's seven spell threads. That's all seven spell threads. This is much less spell threads. You know what? I'm going to do more armor for you. <laughs> Greatly. We'll do the Heather Drab. Just because I'm short on spell threads. Jimbo is still in tier one armor. Valiant Bracing. When guarding, Jimbo gains one armor and one warding until the start of his next turn. That's pretty good, actually. Combined with Paladin. Three more of my spell threads. But I think it's worth it. Yeah, try a different kind of armor. This is a two-handed spear. Leaf Spear. Let's go ahead and upgrade it to a level 2. Oh, Quidney. Quidney's only got tier 1. Let's see. We could go Armor Warding and Potency with Wild Woven. When hidden, she gains plus 1 Potency. Um... Swashbuckler. I think um, Maya has Swashbuckler. You know what? 
Let's do that. I'm, I'm, it'll be the rest of my spell threads, but let's go for it. Tomlin. Fashioned for the fray. Plus 15 dodge when he isn't walling, so he's, that would make, mean he's good for by himself. Yeah, sure. That's different. Big two-handed axe. Let's see. So two-handed axes, I'm full on. I've got all the types. Give him a bow. I think I'll just I'm gonna go with this. This will be good. And I'm so out of spell threads. <laughs> I have so very much zero spell threads. The factory was supposed to be our life's work. But Till traded that life for something horrifying. And I won't let it spread. A Morthogi never misunderstands. Never decides it knows better than you. Morthagi are the only ones I can trust to carry out this mission. Long after I'm gone. The mountain shadowing Appledale breath erupts, bleeding drills and blades. Legs that are not entirely legs and blank, empty rage. They seep and spill through the yondering hills. No. No? We sacrificed Ada. I tried to go visit her, but I barely got anything out of those machines. It's not her anymore. I'm not sure if it was better or worse than a regular death. And then we get news that it didn't fix the problem? Maybe made it worse? I can't do this anymore. I just can't. We could ride this out somewhere. Alright, fine. I'll tell everyone else that Alm finally dropped out and won't be joining us. Wait, everyone else is on board? Except for you, but I get it. It's a lot of pressure. <sighs> Fine. What's the plan? First, we go convince Pegret to join us. Next, the rest. Then we storm the mountain and end this war. Pegret? But you had said... Mm, too late to back out now. You'd have to walk, sheesh, a whole mile back to your house. Nah, you're committed. The shadows deepen. Okay. So let's see. Um, nothing down here. Nothing over here. Oh, we do have one thing over here. And it's already infested. <sighs> uh, well, I have to send somebody up here to recruit the person here anyway. This is also new, so i got to deal with that. And then bunch of stuff over here, including the final battle site mountains. So this, so this is going to be the last place I go up here. I'm going to need a group to go this way. Let's, let's work this out. I have, I have eight people. We'll send four of them. We'll send four. And I'm going to have nine, so I'm going to send a group of five this way. And I'll send a group of four the other way. Alright, so let's send... I'm going to send... Um, Tolma. And Ramdra. Quidney. And Grayley. And... Maya. Yes. I'll send them over that way. And then I'll have those three go recruit somebody new. And there we go. That'll do. But to gather together. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. Oh. 
Not that one. Everybody gather here so I don't end up with uh, <laughs> one person getting ambushed up there. Let's see. Pick from Legacy. I need another hunter, I think. I don't remember who you are. Let's see. We'll get Wisdom and Long Reach. It's an honor to have you, Analia. We'll be heading out tomorrow. Meet me at the main road in the morning. The Raven's Assembly. They seem like a good bunch. I would hope so. All right, and then go. And Anali is ready. Okay, good. So that way, when I come back, I have got four people over here to go up and deal with these two sites. And then I've got five people over here who will start who will be dealing with these four sites. And then, um, like, we'll go here and build a pass to get here, and then come down and come back this way and work on clearing these infestations at least so that um, I don't have uh, incursions coming over uh, suddenly, surprisingly. 137 days. I think I can pull that off. Anyway, that will be all for next time. So, thank you for watching. I apologize again for the uh, background construction noise. I wasn't anticipating it when I started recording today. Um, hopefully, uh, this will all be done by next week, and I can go back to a peaceful recording. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.